Oil is not for the weak. <laughs> it is the earth's milk, and only the strong may suckle at mother's teeth. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Adam Driver performances. Clearly a man with nothing to hide. For this list, we'll be looking at the best performances from this American actor in film and television. What's your favorite Adam Driver performance? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Jude, Hungry Hearts. This Italian-produced drama received mixed reviews, but critics overall agreed that Driver's performance was a highlight. What did I say wrong? I just mentioned seeing a doctor for a seven-month-old baby who was running a fever. And... You humiliated me. Humiliated? Don't you think you're exaggerating a little? As a father disturbed by his wife's raising of their newborn baby, Driver exudes intensity while also maintaining an undercurrent of inherent sensitivity amidst the film's more unsettling elements. Your son isn't growing. What do you mean he isn't growing? One of his first starring roles, Hungry Hearts earned Driver the Volpe Cup for Best Actor at the Venice International Film Festival in 2014. This role might not have brought Driver to the A-list, but it did show that he had the raw talent necessary to improve just about any movie he's in. Please, no, please! Mina, stop, it's me. Please, okay? Please, no! Mina? No! It's me, I love you. Number 9, Daniel J. Jones. The reports. We don't know he was a terrorist. We barely even know his name. Like all great actors, Driver knows how to show exactly what motivates his characters. In this political drama, Driver plays Daniel J. Jones, the real-life United States Senate investigator who led the investigation into the CIA's employment of torture tactics post 9-11. How long have you been here? Also, according to this cable, a few hours, a CIA officer in Islamabad began working someone they call Asset X. X claim to have direct access to KSM. Most of what's depicted in the film is incredibly graphic, and Driver smartly contrasts this by playing Jones as a man looking not for plaudits, but for truth. And when Jones becomes more incensed by his discoveries, Driver sells the indignation. Political films can sometimes feel dry and dense, but Driver's performance helps make the report both riveting and important. What about the morale of all the people at the agency who spoke out against the program? What about them? People who sent cables back from black sites saying they wanted to be transferred because they were disgusted by what was being done. Number eight, Clyde Logan, Logan Lucky. Adam Driver is also a great comedic actor, and he understands that comedy requires just as much commitment as drama. I guess I can settle for a stoley extra dry two olives. Can you handle that? Uh, yeah, upper on the rocks. Up. In director Steven Soderbergh's comedy about two brothers planning a robbery during a NASCAR race, Driver plays Clyde, an Iraq war veteran with a prosthetic arm. Even with his southern drawl and hilarious dialogue, Driver resists making Clyde into a caricature. Don't move. I'm not. And don't breathe. I'm not. Along with Channing Tatum, playing the other Logan brother, Driver makes things funnier and more meaningful by underplaying them. Logan Lucky could have been just another goofy comedy, but with Driver, it becomes something more. You seriously want to trust these two with our lives? They got to know what we want them to know. Number seven, Toby Grummet, the man who killed Don Quixote. Director Terry Gilliam's take on the Don Quixote story spent nearly 30 years in development hell before finally seeing the light of day in 2018. Well, now that our producer here has so bravely thwarted the terrorist threat to our water supply, I'd like to say buenas noches. We need you, Toby, don't we, everyone? While we wish it hadn't been such an ordeal to get it made, we're thrilled Adam Driver got to be part of the finished film. In this ambitious and amusing story, Driver plays a director who finds himself entangled in an adventure with an actor who believes he's famed literary character Don Quixote. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not Sancho. No. And... You're not Don Quixote. Mm. This being a Gilliam film, things start weird and only get stranger as things continue. It's another excellent comedic showcase for Driver, who also has great chemistry with Jonathan Price's quirky actor. Don Quixote might have been delusional, but Adam Driver knows exactly what he's doing. You don't recognize my face? I'm Sancho! Sancho? Number six, Henry McHenry. Annette. She's out of this world. Out of this world. 
Something we love about Adam Driver is his willingness to take on roles in films that are unlike anything we've ever seen. And that is one of those films. In director Leos Karak's surreal musical, Driver plays a father whose life spirals out of control after the birth of his daughter, a gifted singer. And his daughter happens to be portrayed by a marionette puppet. Hey, my friend, would you look after Annette while I go out and let off just a little bit of steam? Sure, Henry. I'll look after Annette. Annette will have you equal parts amused and baffled, but as always, Driver keeps things grounded by creating a fully formed character, one we might not often like, but whom we can't look away from. Where you might ask, did I go? That would be none of your business. Number five, Detective Philip Flip Zimmerman, Black Klansman. Improvise, like jazz. Like bebop. This isn't some big bust, we just want some intel, that's it. Few recent movies show that truth is stranger than fiction better than Black Klansman. Spike Lee's film about Ron Stallworth, a real-life black detective who infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan in the 70s. While the film does take some liberties with the story, it's lifted by being both thought-provoking and entertaining, and by Driver's great supporting performance. You understand? Hey, I understand. Right, you got it. As Flip Zimmerman, a Jewish detective who stands in for Stallworth at KKK gatherings, Driver shows the struggle of wrestling with the duties of one's job and their identity. This is the job. What's your problem? That's my problem. For you, it's a crusade. For me, it's a job. It's not personal, nor should it be. This was Driver's first Oscar-nominated role, and we expect him to win one sooner rather than later. Number four, Patterson. Patterson. What's going to happen to us now? Are we stranded here? Oh, no, 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 no. Another, another bus will come get us shortly. You know an actor is great when they can keep you engaged with a purposefully mundane plot. In Jim Jarmusch's relaxed film, Driver plays a bus driver named Patterson, who coincidentally lives in the town of Patterson, New Jersey. We see a week of Patterson's life as he goes to work, observes his passengers, visits the neighborhood bar, writes poems, and spends time with his wife and dog. Working on a poem for you. A love poem? Yeah, I guess if it's for you, it's a love poem. If that doesn't sound particularly exciting, that's kind of the point. Patterson is a movie about finding beauty in the simplicity and predictability of life. And Driver's everyman presence makes us believe he could have been a bus driver in a past life. The rain has stopped. I stop. On the corner, a boy in a yellow raincoat holding his mother's hand. Number three, Adam Sackler, Girls. Before he was known as Adam Driver, movie star, he was known as Adam Sackler, one of the main characters of HBO's Girls. It's amazing. You love yourself so much, so why is it so crazy that someone else would too? Though Driver didn't play one of the female foursome, his comedic timing and charismatic nature made him a fan favorite. You'll know me, I'm very tall and uh, semi-dashing. Adam is a complicated character who isn't always easy to like, but Driver's eagerness to dive into Adam's more unflattering traits shows just how fearless of an actor he is. Driver received three consecutive Emmy nominations for Girls, and we would happily watch a show just about Adam. No one who watched Girls back in the day should be surprised to see how much of a star Driver became. Number 2. Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo the Star Wars franchise. The Star Wars films already had plenty of iconic villains before the release of the most recent trilogy, but Adam Driver's acting chops gave us another top-tier antagonist in a galaxy far, far away. I'll show you the dark side. As Ben Solo, son of Han and Princess Leia, a former Jedi in training who's led to the dark side and becomes the evil Kylo Ren, Driver creates arguably the series' most complex villain yet. I'm Han Solo. I feel like he's the father you never had. He would have disappointed you. Get out of my head. Ren is a ruthless killer, but he's also affected by his emotional immaturity and his struggle with living up to his famed grandfather, Darth Vader. While these films have their share of flaws, Driver's performance is not one of them. Did you come back to say you forgive me? To save my soul? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. 
Francisco Garupe. Silence. Driver lost nearly 50 pounds to play a Jesuit priest in Martin Scorsese's historical epic. That's not possible. Father Ferreira risked his life to spread our faith all over Japan. We're here today because of him. Lev Shapiro, Francis Ha. Driver shines in a small role in this dramedy. This is me in the locker room of the Knicks. Wow. Sophie said you like basketball? That was just one time. Jamie Massey, while we're young. Driver manages to be charming even in a fedora. Oh, hey, I got my first response on Facebook. Yeah? This guy, Kent Arlington. I haven't seen him since high school in Santa Cruz. Did you uh, flesh it out more, the idea? A little, yeah. He's living in Poughkeepsie. Tipper and I are going to ride the olds up there and find him. Maurizio Gucci, House of Gucci. Driver's portrayal of the businessman has created plenty of excitement for Ridley Scott's biopic. I have been the Gucci all my life. It is an empire. You can help the family. Gucci is not exciting, and everybody knows it. At least it's my name, sweetie. Our name. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Charlie Barber, Marriage Story. He's very competitive. He loves being a dad. He loves all the things you're supposed to hate. Marriages rarely just end overnight, and a divorce doesn't mean a couple has stopped caring about each other. Noah Baumbach's intense drama shows how circumstances can turn what was once a loving relationship into a shadow of itself. Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead. Dead like if I can guarantee Henry would be okay. I'd hope you'd get an illness and they get hit by a car and die. As Charlie Barber, a New York City theater director and father contending with the end of his marriage and all the complications that ensue, Driver brings unflinching humanity. It's clear Charlie is heartbroken by what's happening, but he's also struggling to be the best man and father he can possibly be. Along with co-star Scarlett Johansson, Driver makes you feel like you're watching the dissolution of an actual marriage, and the hardest moments to watch are also the most compelling. Here, Driver doesn't act, he embodies. And make me aware of being alive, being alive. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.